to another episode of This Guy's Thoughts. Always appreciate you swinging by the channel, taking the time to uh, watch a video. Uh, tonight, um, holiday beers, holiday wines, holiday eggnog 2021, right in the middle of the season. Uh, what I have here tonight is uh, something a bit different. It is a eggnog wine. So this is Holly Hill Farm, eggnog, a blend of white wine, egg yolk, and festive spices and finest cream traditional wine specialty so a specialty wine second specialty wine i've done this year got them both at the aldi grocery store i think i paid like seven bucks for this right here maybe eight bucks i don't know um both of them are under ten dollars each uh so i mean i am kind of looking forward to this especially after that last one I had, the uh, Peppermint Bark. Check out that video. Pleasantly surprised with that. Um, this here is 13.9% uh, alcohol by volume. And it's got some reading on the back. It says, uh, Holiday Hill Farm Eggnog Wine Specialty. Celebrate the holiday season with this traditional style eggnog. Select white wine was expertly blended with egg yolk, best of spices and finest cream to create this indulgent wine specialty. We are sure you will just love the way the natural cinnamon, vanilla, nutmeg, and clove flavors blend in harmoniously with the cream, giving this beloved holiday treat its great taste and warm and silky texture. Enjoy it at room temperature or heated. So it's room temperature right now. So just looking at it in the bottle there, definitely just looks like an eggnog, no doubt about that. So we'll see, we'll see what it, uh, we'll see what it offers here. So we're gonna use Marty Moose. We're gonna bring out Marty Moose. This might be one of the last times he's used this year. So uh, hopefully we can uh, enjoy a little bit of wine with him. So no cork or anything in it, only the finest wines at Aldi, right? Okay, so. Let's get a pour on this thing. Just uh, doesn't look very thick. Um, although I guess thicker than a wine, but doesn't look real thick. It looks uh, very milky. Before I get a nose on it or anything, uh, just the uh, typical eggnog color, just that like off white color to this thing. I do uh, pick up hints of alcohol already. Yeah, it just smells like a um, an eggnog that has been, uh, you know, doctored up with some type of spirit, some type of liquor, liqueur. Hmm, it doesn't smell hateful. I get the eggnoggy, the eggnogginess to this. The eggnogginess to this. You can tell there's some cinnamon, nutmeg, your typical seasonal uh, Christmas holiday spices are, are definitely, I'm picking them up. So let's get a drink on this. So a couple things with this. First off, this does not taste anything like wine. I'm not a wine drinker. I mean, I, I run a beer tube channel, basically, and branching out to other things, but for the most part, beer. Uh, so this does not taste anything like wine at all. You do get that alcohol in it, though. You can tell there's some alcohol in it. It almost tastes like a rum is in there. Like a uh, thin eggnog uh, with some with uh, some rum in it, honestly. I don't get a white wine flavor to this. So, milky, eggnoggy. Uh, you actually do, and it's not a lot in eggnogs, I pick up clove. So, if I was just, you know, I didn't read what was in it, like, Cinnamon, nutmeg, those those things I identify really quick. But a little bit of clove in here, it does give it almost a, I don't know, a, 
don't say banana, but just a different type of, of a flavor to this. Or not, not really a flavor, just a dip, like a nice spicy addition to the flavor. To your typical eggnog flavor. Uh, it's actually very good. Um, God, I just consider this eggnog. I mean, eggnog with white wine, no different than eggnog with rum or eggnog with whiskey or vodka or whatever you're mixing it with, right? So, yeah, this is actually much, much better than anticipated, just like the other one, uh, the peppermint bark one was. So, uh, if you've had this before, let me know what you think about it. Uh, if you um, avoid all these, you don't like shopping there because you think it's for like poor people or whatever, dude, you need to swing your ass by there. Um, they just have some stuff in there that's like, where did they come up with this shit at? Um, so like this right here, I've never seen an eggnog wine anywhere else, okay? So I'm glad I stopped there to pick this up. Uh, but anyhow, hey, if you're new to this channel, I hope you like what you've seen here. I hope you think about becoming a subscriber. I know I'd appreciate it. And those of you guys that are uh, our current subscribers, drop in the comments, giving me the likes. Hey, thank you very much. It's always appreciated.